Rain your love down, won't you? Let it rain. Filling us with all your trust, love, and care. Send your love down all for human sake. But only you can get us out of this pain. Oh, I got to stop y'all because ain't nobody getting ready to flag my video. Okay, so I'm going to stop right now. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. You know, welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija, I'm so glad that y'all could join me this morning where we can have a little conversation uh, because there's some things a little bit that I, I, I'm kind of disturbed about. And I, I'm sure, no disrespect to Gabby Petito and what has happened to her because that is just uh, definitely a travesty. And as y'all know, I am a... Uh, um, um, a family member of a person who is a victim of domestic violence. So this very sensitive for me uh, and to me, and, and regardless of the individual's color, I don't, I don't care about that. When I hear about crazy um, stuff about dudes shooting women in the head and getting mad because she want to leave and then you got to kill her, you know, or even vice versa. When the woman get mad because he want to go and he's sick of your ass and then you want to kill him because you can't handle, you know, whatever's uh, dead in this relationship. You can't breathe no life into it because there's no life in you. So the thing is, those kind of people are dangerous, right? However, when you look at the just the unbalanced reporting of Gabby. Petito, compared to this young man, Jelani Day, it almost make you want to say, and I know I don't mean it, I don't give a damn. Because I don't care. It ain't just about uh, white women disappearing, where you put the whole damn country out on notice because this white woman gone. Like the girl that went to, it was in Aruba, and her ass got gone by another white man. Remember? They had arrested all these black dudes. What was her name? I can't think of her name. Y'all help me out. Y'all know. Come on. Uh, in Aruba. She was plastered everywhere. And you're doing the same shit. Now, this young man, they discovered his body in the Illinois River. His name was uh, Jelani Day, right? And I think he was from Peru, Illinois. They found him in the Illinois River. Okay? He's a, stu he's a graduate student. Of Illinois State, he was a a, a a a speech pathologist, the best of that we got to offer in our community. One of the best. He ain't none of these dudes out here smoking crack, uh, uh doing all kinds of robbing and stealing and killing, and, and committing crimes. This is the best that we have to offer out our community. And what y'all mad? Come on, what is wrong with these? Listen. And you mean to tell me he was found on September 4th? I didn't even know nothing about I knew he was here. I heard it. I think maybe to this week. And was sadly enough, you guys, the goal, I mean, his goal, I told you, was to be a speech pathologist. And so who called and reported him missing? Do you want to know who called and um, because he didn't show up for a meeting and that was his professor. You know, a lot of people, especially in my family, they get mad at me because when my brother Ricky got uh, killed, I'm just kind of like traumatized now. Like when somebody call, if I call somebody and they don't answer the phone. 
you know, and I realized that even if they don't just, they can just text and say, you know, F you, I don't want to talk to you or blah, blah, blah. But when I call somebody, I realize that because my daughter has done it to me. I've had it done a few times and I've actually gotten angry and I realized that the problem is mine. Okay, it's my trauma. But when you think about stuff like this, can you understand why? The only reason they discovered my brother's body before it starts started smelling up in the apartment was because because the killing happened over the weekend. Okay? Probably that Valentine's Day. And the re or that Saturday, somewhere up in there, my brother got killed. The reason why they found him as early as Tuesday was because he was supposed to show up to be the election inspector. And his habits are he didn't show up. And people that are concerned and people that don't just just blow everything off like, you know, niggerish type of shit. They'll call and be like, hey, look, my loved one didn't come home. They don't freak out. They don't start screaming. They don't go. ah, But they act appropriate and intelligently. OK. And then usually you find out what happens. A lot of times people don't even call. Oh, I ain't heard from so-and-so, 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 and they don't care. And that, to me, bothers me. But I realized that's my own cross to bear. But Jelani was found on the 4th. But the phone call came from his professor. You know, and I'm not saying anything against, you know, or bad. I don't know if he had brothers or sisters. I don't know nothing about anybody or how, what their pattern was. But this was a graduate student. Again, the best that our community have to offer. They always talk about the gangbangers and the ones that sit up here and take lives. You know, the ones that sit up here and destroy lives and destroy their own first and foremost. We want to glorify them. You know, and then, I mean, seriously. But everybody, everybody that's disenfranchised should be upset by the way they're going on about this damn uh, Petito. And here we got this damn, nobody said nothing about him. He's not all plastered. Ain't nobody doing no manhunt and doing all that for him. Talking about, oh, well. And this they found him on September 4th. Jelani, day. Jelani, day. Jelani, day. Let me say your name, brother. Jelani, day. And they found him in the damn river on the fourth. And then and, and all the seemed like the resources and attention and everything is for this damn um girl. And I don't want to sound again like because I'm angry about it. And I don't want to sound like that. Cause Murder is murder. But do y'all get the point? Here's a black life. And then you get mad when somebody said black lives matter. Well, they got to matter to us. And they do. They matter to me. Here's a cream of the crop. And the parents and the family, whoever, y'all need answers. Y'all need answers. I like being Crump and all them go on and go down there. Nobody got to call you because we don't got that many civil rights attorneys. And people say, well, why you call in? They don't want nothing but the money. Listen, you got to bring attention to what has happened. So, yeah, yeah, you got to get money out of it. So what? You get money out of it. Let's bring attention to what happened to the boy, young man. Don't y'all care? Rest in peace, young man. Young man who made all the right choices in his life. Who did this to this young man? Who did it? Huh. All right. Well, I don't know if y'all know anything. Maybe I'm totally on the late show. If y'all could leave a comment down below. And let me know. What y'all know about this? Because, again, certain stories traumatized me.
from certain standpoints, you know, and I know that's my cross to bear. But like I said, that's why we in the mental house, because we all got some mental issues. And now I'm laying mine before you right now. I cannot stand it when I hear somebody was killed by their boyfriend. Okay. I can't. I get paranoid when I call somebody and they don't answer the phone. Um, and they they were supposed to call me at a certain time or I'm expecting to hear from it. And they just don't say anything. They don't text us anything. That bothers me. And it, it has stopped me from the course that I'm on and make me call other people and say, hey, have you talked to so-and-so or blah, blah. And I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing right now. I just know I'm dealing with that right now. But with that being said, I want to uh, say rest in peace to Jelani Day. And uh, that was his body that it, they found it on September 4th, 20 days ago. Um, and... Uh, I think this story deserves way more press than it's been getting. And um, I'm going to do my part to make sure that it does. Because like I said, this is the best of us. This guy was on his way. He was on his way. And he wanted to be a speech pathologist. I know so many kids that's been affected by their parents using drugs that they can't hardly speak correctly. See, I don't know about y'all, but if you want to keep it real, I know a whole bunch of, of, of crack babies. I've had them in my group home. I've had them in my respite facilities, okay? And a lot of them need speech because their development is so low because the parents don't have anything to offer, not even language. This brother was putting himself in a situation to... To deal with that. Most speech pathologists I know. Are um, Caucasian. And I used to work with them all the time. They're, I work with all kinds of therapists. So I want to say rest in peace to Jelani Day's family. Um, We're going to keep this story on the forefront y'all. Jelani Day. Jelani Day. Somebody throw that boy in that river. Found Somebody throw him in that river. He just fall in there and go, somebody killed him and throw him in there. And I want to see them at the same kind of manhunt for this young man whose uh, goal was to be a doctor, who was a graduate student, whose life was a beacon shining bright in a dirty, dirty, dark world. And I want to see him get just as much coverage as this petito, um, because I, I'm not, I'm not trying to hear it. I'm not trying to hear it. I don't want to even give the impression that her life is more important than his. Do you? That's what you're trying to do. Cause I ain't with it. I'm tired of it. Rest in peace. I'll see y'all in the next video.